Hey YouTube, how is it going today? In this video, I want to talk about the coal stocks. These stocks have been making very constructive chart patterns, and now it appears that they are breaking out and could be the next hot group in the energy sector. In this video, I'm going to show you the ones that I like the best, and then after that, I'm going to get into some of your questions. Now, if you're new to my channel, I've been trading and investing for over 20 years, and in every video, I'll show you some of the potential trades and investments that I see setting up. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any future trading or investing ideas. And I also have a Patreon group, so if you would like to be a part of our community and see what we are buying and selling in real time, that link is in the description. Alrighty then, so let's get right into these charts. But first off, if I could ask you for a small favor, it does take me a little bit of time to go through all these scans and find the best stocks and put it together for you in a video. So if you could ever so gently like that smash button for me, I would greatly appreciate it. But you don't have to do it hard. Uh, just do it very, very gently. Safety first around here. And of course, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy on YouTube. Doing my best to try to show you some good trading opportunities, but please do all of your own due diligence before you buy any stocks you see on my videos. But first, I just want to bring up the coal sector as a whole. This is the IX1050, so this is the entire coal sector. Um, basically, it's not really an ETF. It's just the industry group on the TC2000 software. So I like to look at this first when I'm looking at a sector just to see how the overall sector is performing. And you can see that coal had been going sideways ever since the pandemic lows, and now it has broken out. It's broken above all those moving averages. Usually everybody misses this first big move. When a stock has been going down and it starts going sideways, usually people forget about it or uh, forget about that sector. Then the sector gets hot. It gets a little overheated and it has a pullback. So this has been a pretty decent sized pullback in coal. It has been roughly almost 30% from peak to trough. Now it is trying to carve out a bottom. It's just looking like it's starting to round up and it's breaking above that 50 period simple moving average today. So this sector is definitely starting to build up some more steam and I think it's on its way to taking out the old high on the IX1050. And if we go to the weekly chart and back it out just a little bit, you can see that um, this sector tends to trend pretty well. Usually when it gets in a trend, it goes that way for many months to even several years. Like the last time it was in one of these type of uptrends, it lasted for almost a whole year straight up, pulled back for a few months, and then resumed that uptrend before eventually rolling back over. And now it looks like we are in the beginning stages again. And this is like the first pullback here. So this represents like... This move kind of right here where it pulled back to the 21 period exponential moving average on the weekly chart and then started to hook back up. And if we zoom in a little bit, we can see it looks like we are uh, in that same type of pattern. So uh, these stocks should be getting pretty strong. Now let's jump to some of the ones that I like the best. Let me go back to the daily chart real quick. Okay, if we go to the daily chart and look up HNRG, I've actually talked about this one many times on the channel. This one is breaking out of that triangle consolidation very nicely today. This thing has been teasing us, and uh, now it looks like it could finally be busting through because it's actually at a new 52-week high as I'm making this video right now. So this one uh, could be finally clearing this consolidation pattern where the lows were starting to rise up and put pressure on that resistance area, and it looks like it could be uh, finally busting through so hnrg definitely one of my favorites in this group the next one i've also talked about on this channel and this one is btu and this one has been um a little bit frustrating because it looked like it was moving higher back here in february and then it pulled back all the way down to the 200 period simple moving average and it shook some of us out into the patreon group but now uh not didn't shake all of us out some of us still held tight and uh, now it looks like it's finally starting to bust out it's starting to threaten those old highs that it made right around 520 so um if you were adding this near that 200 you are doing very well right now but btu is also also really strong so i really like btu um next one i want to show you is metc 
METC is making like a bullish triangle, maybe a bullish flag formation. It looks like it's finally starting to carve out that bottom. And I think it's going to be busting above this 50 period simple moving average any time now because uh, it looks like it's going to be breaking this downtrend line. This one's making a little bit of a triangle consolidation as well. And it came all the way down and touched that old high that it made back in October. Uh, that became the, the support area once it busted through it. And you can see it tested that support area several times. And it looks like it is poised to break through that triangle. And if we go to the 15-minute chart, this is how you want to trade these. You see one of these triangles setting up. Just move it up to the or move it back to the 15 minute chart and then uh, wait for it to break above this trend line and then hold those moving averages this eight period exponential moving average and the 21 and if it does that then it could be you know at it breaking out of this pattern and heading up towards the uh, old highs all right the next one that i want to show you is sxc this also is a very bullish pattern, it might be one of the stronger ones in the group. And uh, Joe from the Patreon is also in this one. He's been, man, he's been nailing these uh, stocks in the coal sector. He's been, uh, he's called this sector for quite a while. And now it looks like almost the whole sector as, as, a, as a whole is starting to break out. So, but uh, SXC is now breaking to a new high today. So this one looks like uh, after it pulled back and touched that 50 period simple moving average, it's ready to uh, start making a new high just like it did uh, back in December and then back in the, in the uh, beginning of February as well. So uh, SXC is looking super strong. That one is just starting to break out. So it has, it's not that very, very far extended as of yet. Next one I want to show you is CEIX, and this one is exploding today, headed towards that old high. So this one is a little extended, but you can just see how the stock has been pulling back on lighter volume, and now that volume is coming back in and is starting to explode near that old high. So that just shows you how strong this stock is. Had a big, huge move all the way from November, from 350 all the way to double digits, and only pulled back to the low nines before taking off again. So definitely a uh, one of the stronger stocks in this sector next one i want to show you is arec has been one of the weaker ones i mean it did have a huge move up in february so this was just destined to have a uh, pretty steep pullback even though this one has been really steep uh, when you have these moves that are just parabolic like this once they run out of steam you're definitely going to have a pullback but it looks like it is finally starting to uh, hook back up and carve out a bottom and actually if you go to the hourly chart what you want to do when you see those type of patterns just look for that descending wedge and then uh, try to break try to try to buy that breakout and we can see that it looks like it is right on the cusp of that right now so this definitely this definitely is a bullish pattern once it breaks out to the upside you just want to have a decent size breakout so it's a clear breakout and then you want a hold and then you want it to print one of those nice green candles that shows you that the move is going to be confirmed but arec is definitely one that's in a deep pullback and uh and it could be breaking out of that uh, descending wedge any time now. Next one uh, that I want to show you last but not least is Arch Coal. This one is a little bit more expensive, but uh, definitely one of the more fundamentally stronger stocks in this group. Uh, Arch Coal is trading right around $50 a share, but it looks like it is poised to be breaking through this resistance area any time. Um, ever since, it, ever since uh, it's gotten into the, you know, just a little over $50 range, it has been uh, met with resistance and pulled back. It had this one false breakout, which I love to see. Uh, once it once it starts getting back up there again, if it has one false breakout, usually it has a better chance of uh, following through. So I think Arch Coal is uh, definitely a nice looking stock if you want, want to, if you want to buy one that's a little bit more expensive. All right, so I had a question from Inside Ticker Picks. Inside Ticker Picks. Uh, say that five times fast. But Inside Ticker Picks was asking about Upwork, and he didn't say if he owned it or what. So uh, I'm just going to tell you what I think about this chart. 
Now, uh, Upwork definitely has one of those chart patterns that resemble a at least a short-term climax top. And how you uh, determine that is you draw three trend lines. If you have three trend lines that are ascending, then uh, once it starts making that third trend line, you know that it's probably time to start taking some profit. Even if it's something that you want to hold for the long term, it's really not a bad idea to take some off the table, at least some, and then look to buy back at a lower price. But if you draw these trend lines, See, here's the first one. There is a second one. And then this one is not as easy to see, but you can definitely see how the price really started to accelerate and go parabolic. And you can draw a trend line right there. And once you have those three ascending trend lines, you know you're probably in at least a short-term blow-off move. And um, it's time to start taking some profits off the table. Because even if you do want to hold it for the long term, I mean, you ch chances are you'll have a chance to buy some back at a lower price. And that was definitely the case with Upwork so far. Now, I don't know if you're in this stock, if you have been holding this whole time, if you're looking for an entry. Um, this Actually, this chart uh, has some different scenarios in it for sure. Uh, this would be a great buying opportunity getting it towards that 200 because you have this support area also in that uh, vicinity. So uh, it's kind of funny how that works out when you have a major support average rising up into price. It usually coincides with some previous support areas. And uh, this one looks like it'd be a fantastic buy at least or for a swing trade at the very least right around uh, $33 to $34 a share. Now, it might not pull back that far because if we look at the candle that it's printing right now, if you zoom in a little bit, this could be a reversal candle. And actually... Um, this is a pretty nice uh, potential false breakdown because you have this support area right here. And usually um, when you get one of these false breakdowns, if it jumps right back above support, you know, right away, this could be a great move for uh, some follow through for a couple of days. Um, when I see uh, patterns like this and it jumps right back into support, what I like to do is look for, you know, option trades, look for an option call that's maybe just a couple of days away. Because uh, usually when you get one of these reversals down below, su below support and then it reverses right back up, you get a couple days of follow through. So uh, and sometimes it's usually some uh, pretty sharp follow through. So if you start looking for that on charts, some of these false breakdowns, if they jump right back up, usually it'll follow through quite nicely for a couple of days. So I like to look for those for uh, short term option plays. So if you are not in this stock, hmm, I guess I would say, you know, wait for this level if you're looking to enter. But if this is a false breakdown, you might not get that opportunity. This thing might just take off. Um, but uh, uh, Upwork, you know, I was looking at this stock um, many months ago. And if, if my memory serves, I mean, I think they're projected to grow sales like 20% a year for at least the next three or four years. So there's a ton of future growth ahead of this company. And that's probably why it's been bid up, but it just got a little overextended. Um, this one is definitely, uh, if you like high growth, this one is definitely worth looking into if you want uh, a long term play, because I think Upwork is still projected to grow for years and years and years. And uh, this stock has pulled back from peak to trough. We're looking right around 40%. So uh, it's a pretty steep pullback, a nice discount from the all time high if you're looking to enter. I personally would like to wait for this 200 if you were looking to enter, but that is up to you. It might not make it there. This could be the low in the market because a lot of these uh, high growth stocks have been getting just uh, smoked and you never know when they when they bottom because sometimes they bottom really fast and uh, you know start working their way towards a new high pretty quickly. But uh, Hopefully that answered your question, Insider Ticker Picks. If it didn't, you know, uh, make sure you leave me another comment if um, if you want to hear something more specific, and I'll I'll get to it as soon as I can. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for this video. So I'm going to end it right there. But if you have any questions about any of these stocks, or if you have any other stocks you want me to take a look at, please leave them down there in the comment section. I will get to them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end, guys. And until next time, take care.